How are you doing? Hope you're all well. Frostfire 1987 here. Right, this is going to be a controversial list. I'm going to try and do it all in one breath. Well, not one breath. I'll probably die, but I will try and do it all in one take. And it's the top 10 games that I dislike in the whole world and their dog loves. It, please don't send me letter bombs. This is my personal opinion. It, no one else. It's just my word. Okay? Right. Let's get started. <gasps> Coming in with number 10, we've got Delta Force on the PC. This is the early ones. I haven't really played any of the newer ones. If there was any newer ones, a friend of mine used to have this. I used to play it on the PC. I could just never get into it. It just looked ugly back in the day, and it pretty much looks ugly now. I found it pretty generic even as a kid. Um, he, This guy used to love it. I mean, we were young, and he absolutely loved this game. I just have no love for it whatsoever, and it's just a generic boring mess to me. Moving on. Number 9. Again, like I say, controversial, Halo. And I'm not just saying this because I'm not a PS4 fanboy or, any, or PlayStation fanboy in general. I generally find Halo the most boring. It's been done before. Big American soldier attacks aliens. I've seen it done in films. I've seen it done in games. And I don't know what everyone's fuss is about. It, it just bores the crap out of me, so I'm moving on. Number eight. Right, this is a whole genre. Any horror game where you can't defend yourself. I cannot stand these new horror games that come out and you can't attack. You have to hide in a closet, hide in a cupboard, hide under a bed, or run around with a video camera, and I can't stand it. Because if that was me in that situation and I was scared and I knew I was dead anyway, I'd grab a metal pole off the wall. I'd, if I saw a dog running around, I'd grab it by the legs and swing it about. Do you know what I mean? You'd grab anything, a chair, a table, anything. And it just annoys me that all you can do is run and hide, and it just makes you feel like a pansy. Moving on. Number seven. Again, this is a genre one, not a single game. This is any MOBA game ever. The whole planet loves this, these games. I've played Dota 2, not Dota 1, the original mod. I just couldn't get into it. The community seemed like a bunch of assholes. When I said it was my first game, hi, how you doing? I instantly got told to kill myself, so that was my experience with that. I tried League of Legends, couldn't get into that. I haven't tried Smite. That's probably the only one that vaguely looks interesting to me. The rest, boring, moving on. Number six, again, a genre one, any Fable game any Fable game, I find them so monotonous. I had the original one on the Xbox, the original Xbox, I bought it in a car boot sale. Uh, I think that's like a flea market if you're from America. And it was garbage. All I did was walk around talking to townspeople uh, and the combat was just woeful. I then played another one and I can't remember which one it is. It was one where there's a chicken running around in a cutscene and it's all about the dog. Uh, again, that bored the crap out of me. Hated it, moving on. Number five. Pikmin. Pikmin. Just the word Pikmin. What is a Pikmin? It's a cute little creature. You run around, you grab fruit, and that's it. I tried it on the Wii. I haven't tried the Wii U version. Couldn't stand them. They're just stupid. It's like a game designed for toddlers. The less said about it, the better. Moving on. Now, this is a classic. It's going to hurt some people's feelings, and I apologize in advance for this. It's the Paperboy series on the NES and the SNES. I couldn't bloody stand these. When I was around six and seven, and we all had Segas and, and SNESs, and I just couldn't stand it. My friends loved the Paperboy series, and I, I, I mean, you're riding a bike, throwing newspapers around. You do that in real life when you're a kid and you get a paper round. There's nothing exciting about it. But the only decent thing you could do is break people's windows with a newspaper. Uh, so about that was fun, about the only part of it. Number three, Splinter Cell. When this came out, I kind of felt like it was riding the Metal Gear Solid waves. I played the first one on the old Xbox and I played Conviction, didn't like either. When the first one came out, it was when Metal Gear Solid was really popular and I, I, just, I just didn't really feel for it. Number two, this is a genre one. This will be the death of gaming. Any mobile game ever. And I mean any mobile game. I hate iPad games. I hate phone games. I hate these games that are now creeping onto PC and installing free, and I'm using air quotations here, you can't see me obviously, but I hate this free to play. Free, it's not free to play and it will kill gaming. Trust me, I'm a random guy in the internet. Moving on. Number one. Any point and click game ever. I've just realised I've gone over four minutes, so I've broken my promise to you already. I apologise for that as well. Any point and click game. I fucking hate point and click games. They are awful. You point and you click, that's the game? What, are you kidding me? You just go around finding hidden items, you point, you click. How? I don't know how anybody can find these fun, they just make me feel sleepy. I'd rather read a book and anyone that knows me knows I don't read books. <laughs> right, that's it, done. And that was my list. 
just want to say I've got a special feature coming up next. I've got a special guest coming on. She's going to be doing her own top 10 list. It's not a massive YouTuber, it's my little sister, but she's going to be doing her own top 10 list. And while I'm at it, stop scaring babies. It's cruel. Cool.